It's election day in the Czech Republic, and after an aggressive and emotionally charged election campaign, voters will decide who will occupy the presidential office in the Prague Castle for the next five years. Billionaire Andrei Babish and retired NATO general Peter Pavel faced tough hours before the first votes were cast in the runoff. In the last two weeks, Babish has accused his opponent, General Peter Pavel, of being a warmonger. Babish has been saying General Pavel would take the Czech Republic to war. That's led analysts to raise questions about the billionaire's candidate's support for NATO. We asked them about this at the final presidential debate. I will answer after the debate. Okay, thank okay, you. Bye bye. No questions. Thank so, you. So, no, I mean, yes, it's not me who is speaking about the war. Who is speaking about the war? Ask the the our um, uh, chief of army why he is speaking about the mobilization. Why? I am not speaking about the war. I am speaking about the peace. This is my program. Okay. Do you support thank NATO, you, sir. Of course. What is the what is this question? What is this stupid question? No, it's just no, a question. No, this is a stupid question because uh, we were following our obligation, my government. We sent 700 soldiers to Baltic state. Still, some analysts say Babi shares similar views to the incumbent president, Milos Seman, who had warm relations with Moscow, and Hungary's Viktor Orban, who has been at odds with European Union partners over the rule of law. Uh, he's using this war narrative and this uh, uh, army versus diplomacy uh, distinction as uh, himself trying to say, I will seek the peace. General Pavel says he supports NATO's common defense principle and that the primary job of an army is not to attack, but to protect. It's been a bruising campaign. General Pavel's website has been hacked twice. The first time right after the first round of elections and the second time just hours before the polls open today. Czech authorities say Russian hackers are to blame. Uh, people are uh, divided just uh, by a, a very rough campaign. I believe that uh, once uh, it's all over and it uh, will get calmer uh, in the media, even people will get calm. Despite the fact that the Czech presidency is largely ceremonial and the day-to-day -day function of the government rests in the hands of the prime minister, Czech voters seem highly energized by the contest and a high turnout is expected for the second round. There's a lot at stake in this election. Last August, the German chancellor here in Prague said it bluntly, the center of Europe is moving eastward. The Ukraine conflict has raised the influence of countries in this region. For many Czech voters, this political contest has been dominated by the candidates' personalities rather than issues, but it's also being viewed as a referendum on how they see their country within the context of the European Union and NATO. Pablo Gutierrez, CGTN, Prague.